because we are here in the Santa Monica Mountains to meet Montauk Chia, who is a renowned author, teacher, and self-described healer. He is well known for his writings on Taoism and Qigong. And we're also meeting his collaborator, Dina Saxer, who's also a universal Tao teacher. I'm really excited. Come on. So the Eastern yoga brought from, from Indian and the Eastern yoga brought from China came together and developed a separate, a separate or a fused yoga between Kundalini yoga and, um, and the Tao. And practice. the Tao. And that became Qigong? Um, Qigong is one part of the practice of the Tao. Chinese word we call Qigong, mm -hmm. and uh, in the Indian they call yoga. I see. That's it. I That's see. It. But the same meaning that you discipline, you're practicing it, you cultivate your energy, and you cultivate your breath. So how did you come to um, develop your practice, which is called the Universal Tao, right? Yes. Taoism and the Indian yoga actually is the oldest culture in the world, and it consistently passing down and not, never interrupt. Bodhidharma being the yoga, the Kundalini yoga to China, and you're passing down a lot of Indian practice and Buddhism to, to China. And that's how the Tao and the Buddhism and the Tao and, and the Kundalini are merging in that way to be a practice. And that's what I'm, I inherit this practice. For me, I would just like to know, because I have so many um, emotions, you know, like worry and fear, you know. I, mm. I'm interested in how, um, how you can transform those emotions into positive emotions. Yeah, we have a new book called The e Emotional Wisdom, which is um, very simple. First thing, we have to know where the emotion is located or where they're recording. That's the first thing. So, you know, in that for a thousand years, Tao discovered that emotional recording in organ and different emotional recording in different organs. That's the first thing we have to know. The second thing, we have to find a balance. We don't kill them. You don't persecute them. We don't look at, look at them as a devil or Satan and try to kill them. Mm -hmm. So the more you kill them, the more they fight back. Mm -hmm. So in the Tao say negative, positive, like pH balance. So you have to find a balance and you, you know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. So inside that we have the very simple inner smile. You smile to the negative, change into the positive. And that is called alchemist. You are the alchemist. Dina, how, have, how has this changed your life? Like, how, how have you changed your emotional life as a result of the practice? Completely. <laughs> this work has enabled me to transform all painful emotions and to do it in a relatively easy way to learn from that painful emotion because that painful emotion is a message, that something is out of balance, that something needs to change. To learn from the painful emotions and transform them into the positive emotions. It works. It's simple and it works and, and it's very profound and I use it daily. We'd spoken earlier about um, cultivating power um, and personal power. Do you think that that's the, the most, um, is that what you've gotten the most from your practice personally? Yes. The personal power is come from you transform a negative to positive and you have more goodness inside you. We call virtue energy. But if you have goodness, kindness, compassion, love, and you cut it from inside out and you transform it, especially the sexual energy or the negative energy, you transform it, you have a lot. What types of physical practices can get someone started um, to develop more personal power? Very simple, you know, material into immaterial. Sexual organ is material, and when you change the sexual organ into immaterial, we call sexual energy, or jing qi. 
So the sexual energy either go out or either go up. So that's why in the going up way we call the heavenly way because when you can bring the the sexual energy upward and you cultivate them, it gives you more power. And the most important part in the Tao say like you transform it, like the sexual energy like water, and when the sun shining on the water, it change into steam. We call qi. So we call jing qi. So if you smile, like you smiling sunshine, very simple, everybody can do it. Just hold your hand near your sexual organ and just smiling light down and you think like a smiling sunshine shining right down into the sexual organ. And you started to feel some kind of feeling. And you started to have that feeling, you bring them upward into the higher center, into the brain, and later on into the organs. And you wrap them around it. So you feel brain orgasm, organ orgasm, so we call a multi-orgasm. So you're practicing it. Because multi-orgasm is a healing power and creating power. That's what we need every day. But I need to say that the sexual practices have to come upon the foundation. They have to come a little later. First you have to transform your negative emotions. Because if you don't transform your negative emotions and you do some of our sexual practices, they are going to multiply your negative. So the sexual work is marvelous, but it has to be built upon emotional transformation and strengthening and balancing the body. Then it is safe if you learn it carefully from an experienced instructor. Dina, can you um, show me a movement or a position that is empowering for women? Yes, I'd be happy to. It will also help everybody, not just women, but since we are women, First, it's good to just hit yourself because that will raise the chi and get the circulation going better. And hit yourself in the pelvic area. Not so you hurt yourself, of course, but that you feel it. Build up the chi. Build up the power. And the blood follows the chi. Do a little bit of that every day and you're going to be feeling more powerful and you, in fact, will be more powerful. This is called Embrace the Tree. And even if you just stood like this for a while, the chi will begin to flow better. The internal energy will begin to flow better. Believe it or not, this will help your bones. I, part of my personal story is that I healed myself of osteoporosis with all of our practices and especially the Iron Shirt Qi Kung practices. Montak Chia, I have heard that you do some beautiful and powerful Tai Chi. Can we please see that? Yes. Thank you. This Tai Chi form that we do is called a Tai Chi Qi Kong practice. So we start with um, sing the mind down and sing down to the earth. It's always connecting with the heart and the earth. So the whole thing you have to get the power from the earth and you push it up toward the spine and toward the bone and let the bone stretching out. Like when people are on the floor doing yoga, so that Tai Chi actually is a moving yoga position. In, now we're beginning to in, relax, like a breathing. Very important in opening the tendon and strengthening the tendon and joints, must open it because we are so compressed every day. So the Tai Chi form is, we call, you have four directions. Uh, it starts from the north and to the west, to the south, to the east, and to the north again. So it's the four directions forces 